mother Tell your children not to walk my way Tell your children not to hear my words What they mean Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, bringing you the third section to Interval 5 in my Fear 3 Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. And this is the boss fight with the Phase Commander. And what this guy's going to do is he can pretty much teleport to any section of this level. There are a few places he frequents. One is behind me, one is to my left, and the other is to my right. And I stay near this spawn area because he can't get behind you. And you're going to have to push out to get him to turn up. It's just fact. And um, when he does, there he is. He does a lot of damage, so be careful. And the best thing to do is to just chuck your grenades at him, use your slow-mo, hit him with the laser. The laser's going to stun him so that he can't attack you. And it'll allow you to get your slow-mo to regenerate. It'll allow you to hit him with some grenades. And all your grenades will work on this dude. The electricity ones will stun him. The flashbangs will stun him. The grenades will obviously do damage. And all you've got to do is just keep trying to fuck him up. Just uh, keep trying to damage him. And he's going to frequent between the spawn point to my right behind me and the one to my left where you saw him turn up from. And if you stay over here, he's just going to keep frequenting those two areas. And as long as you don't move from here, he's uh, not going to be able to get behind you. And it's very, very simple. So just keep hitting him, keep hitting him. And then he's going to drop flashbangs when he tries to escape. That generally means that he's injured. And uh, when he starts glowing red, it doesn't necessarily mean he's close to dying, it just means you've hurt him a lot because he sometimes, he comes back and he looks fine. And you never know how close you are to actually killing him, so... All you have to bear in mind is, this guy takes a fucking beating, you're going to be hitting him with a lot of stuff for a while, and he's, he's still going to be, you know, trying to kick your ass, so be very careful. There, I've just thrown a flashbang at him, you'll see it stuns him, then I go into slow-mo, hit him with my burst rifle, and I think he's dying. There he is, yeah. Be careful when he dies, because he does explode. I don't know if that just stuns you, or if that does actual physical damage. But as soon as he's been killed, swap out whatever weapon you've got the least of, so that you can pick his penetrator up. Because it's like a drill door at these enemies. It will kill people very quickly, at one to two shots to the head. And um, it'll also do a lot of damage to the guy when he turns back up, because there's another phase commander coming. But before he turns up, you have to kill uh, a load of enemies. So what I like to do here is I like to run around and I like to open as many cargo crates as I can, pick up all the ammo, refresh my grenades, all that kind of cool stuff, and uh, just swap out for some good guns. I mean, the shotgun is really good against the phase guy, it's good against the normal enemies. It's kind of sporadic in its results, so if it's not working for you, just swap it out and don't use it. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try and use it, because every so often it will shine through. But, um... Yeah, just, just try your best and get as prepared as you can because as soon as you kill all these dudes, another phase commander is going to turn up and it's going to be the exact same strategy, the exact same situation. I'll go all the way back to that spawn container and um, we'll kill him the same way. Just bear in mind, if there's still enemies knocking about, they are going to interfere with the fight, so if you can kill them, you're going to save yourself a hell of a lot of time. But right now, I'm running all the way back to the spawn couple of enemies are going to spawn there, they jump over the wall, so clean them up and then get back here and that's the spawn just like Terminator when they come in with that lovely shower of light and there he is slow motion grenades, hit him with the penetrator and for some reason because there's bodies in this cargo container sometimes you can stand behind them and it'll stop him from shooting so you can just use it to regain all your slow motion it's, uh, it's really useful and then when you see that electricity there it means he's to your left throw a stunner or an uh, electricity grenade then pop out and just keep shooting him and just be just be careful cause the guy can kill you but he doesn't kill you as fast as you think he would uh, I think the main reason for this is balancing because the dude takes a beating but you'll notice I am playing like a big old bitch and the main reason for that is because I don't want to die and I want to show you the easiest and cheesiest way to take this guy down you could probably have a massive man-on-man -man fight running around this cargo container place, but I just wasn't in the mood for it. And I think that explosion just marked the end of the phase commando. There's the checkpoint. Now you can hear the, the Asian lady asking me to let her out of the cargo crate. And uh, you don't have to look around and get ammo because this is the end of the level. But if you come over here directly behind me, 
she uh, she busts out of this one over here. Yeah, she should be behind me now. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just uh, looking for shit to, to smash and see if I can find any dynamic links, even though I am the highest level, so it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> I could be looking for an Alma doll as well, because I still haven't got that achievement, but she's directly t straightforward now. There she is. And then she messes about with the console, you move forward, and it marks the end of this level. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped. Congratulations on beating one of the harder levels, and you take care now.